What is going on beautiful people? I am Lucas and today we're going to be checking out Axe Edit 3 Beta for the Axe FX3. The long awaited Axe Edit 3 is here. Though it is in beta, it is definitely here. So let's take a look around. Now every a lot of things in here don't exactly work yet because this is the very first release so uh, controllers does not work. The quick build does not work. Uh, the setup does work. This is your global setup for your configuring of your EQs. The tuner, you can actually come in here and you can um, you can choose to mute it. It's the same controls that are um, that are actually on the Axe Effects itself. Come to configure. All right, let's check out some other stuff. The uh, foot controller does not work yet either, being as uh, they're not even out yet. Um, yeah, we're checked setup. So let's go into um, let's go into the input one. As you can see, we have real time meters. As you can see, they do react in real time. You can set your gate right there. Uh, let's go to the output. Let's check that out. Uh, you do have a lease right here too. Meters working in real time, and you also have four channels, so you can change for each scene. You can have a different channel set up yourself right there. Let's go up up top to the actual controls. So uh, preset, you can revert preset, save. These are the some same uh, functions that we had in Axe Edit 2. Uh, right here, block, cut, copy, paste. Uh, you can do some inserts right here. There's all different things you can have. Tools. Um, I they left a lot of tools out as it looks like because you can't really do much. You also can't um, do cab edit. You can't import the cabs yet with it. Um, you got preferences. If you come to the preferences, I want to show you this. You have it linked up right here. Workspace. What I did was I went in and I changed all of my default settings. So my snapshot, my library, my presets. I put it all on my actual different hard drive. The default setting for Windows is it puts it in C slash documents and it like fractal. I don't like putting that stuff on my actual OS hard drive. So I went in and I changed it. Your refresh options. You can refresh the names, cab names, block definitions, options. You can all the different options. Worn right there. Uh, make sure before you even mess with any of these, we mess with your preset, you definitely need to back everything up. I went in and I backed everything up that I would need. This is one of the presets I actually made with the front panel. Let's actually go in and check out the preset. So if you click right here, these are all um, these are all the different, these are all the factory presets that they have. And you can do a quick jump to 1, 255. All of my stuff is after bypass. These are all the ones that I have made and imported. So far, you can jump all the way to 511. As you can see, you can jump to the different banks. It's over, uh, if you click the manage button, that isn't working yet, but I'm pretty sure we're, uh, this is this is what you get for now. Uh, you can also pin it, that way it doesn't go away. You can unpin it. And um, let's go back and pick, we still own soul poke. There we go. Um, let's check out the compressor. Compressor drives, you can choose it like this. Got that going on right there, studio compressor drive. Drive is the same exactly like it is. You got your different channels. You can pick all your different drives right here. Go into the also famous amp block. It looks like all of the actual, um, there you go, got some more. Got some more live scales in there. The speaker, this is actually really nice. It's, you can, you can see everything. Nice and clear, speaker drive. It's actually cool. You can see the gain going on your input EQ. You can do your input EQ. This is a, a little bit of EQ and then I've done with this. And you have your dynamics and it still shows you how much gain it's. Actually not reducing any gain right there as we can see. Okay, so let's go to the cat block. So this is the IR. I'm working with right now. These are all of uh, this. I'm in the user um, IR. I'm in the user bank right now. You have two user banks. You have all the legacy IRs. These are all the ones from the Axe FX2. Uh, they believe you might have some. Yeah, as well from the Axe FX2. Definitely. Um, you can have your scratch pad putting in different ones that you're demoing. Also, you can also have your quick jumps. 
Uh, let's go back to factory. Let's go back to user one because this is where I have all the ones I've loaded in so far. And you can put 512. So you have 1024 of users that you can store in there. I'm already set up. Um, and you have four different blocks per channel. So as you can see, you can you can go crazy and you can make so much different stuff. Uh, you can click right here, you can mute, you can solo, mute, you can solo. Got that right there. It's it's this is a little it's more or less the same as it is on the um got your preamp right here, you can change that out. Got your room, got your air. Um we already checked out the out. Uh, one other thing I want to tell you the quick build also doesn't work going up in there and um if you click in the scenes you actually list out all your scenes right here and you can actually manage all uh, manage scenes does not work yet. Uh, finding that, figuring that out as we go along here. Oh, uh, the tuner. Definitely get the tuner to work. As you can see, we actually have an on-screen tuner. I went in and I made a, I call it an everything patch. So I loaded up one of every single block that the Axe Effects 3 has because I wanted to show you how, I wanted to show you what works and what doesn't work in the beta right now as of uh, April 30th, 2018. So we've seen the in, the input block, we have the chorus block, that works for channels, the regular delay works, the enhancer works, filter works, flange is good, turn does not work, the sin doesn't look like the sin. I might not have it set up right, but I just kind of want to go through and show you. Um, the format block there works the gate graphic EQ the looper does not work you have to use that from the front panel found that out the hard way um, the mega tap delay works that's a format one right there just to get that straight mega tap delay works that's the out the mini block doesn't work mixer block works multi delay um, this one doesn't work, obviously. It works on the front panel. P, the parametric EQ doesn't work. Phaser works. Pitch block doesn't work. Plex delay doesn't work. It seems like a lot of the complicated blocks, they didn't um, enable those yet. Real-time analysis doesn't work. This is going to be really cool when it works because it's, you're going to have the actual frequencies up on the screen in um, Axe Edit. The resonator is off. Reverb, of course, works. Best reverbs in the business. Ring modulator works. Uh, this sounds really nasty, but it can be cool. Rotary is good. Synth block does not work. It's pretty simple. I actually have one of the videos on my channel on this block. I'll link it uh, in the video itself. Uh, tap, the tin tap delay doesn't work. The tone match currently isn't. A, um, it doesn't work in here, as you can see. Uh, pan and tremolo painter works, vocoder does not work, the volume pan works, the wah works, and the crossover does work. Just to give you guys a little, um, if you want to connect things, you can connect it here. If you click right here, you can connect, see it gives you all the green dots. Connect all the way back just like the Axe Effects 2. You can put all your shunts in there. I like it so much. It's so much easier to move around. I'm, I can actually stay in front of my monitors whenever I'm doing stuff. Uh, you can take the screenshot. That works. Um, like I said, we changed that earlier. You can show the folder. You can load snapshots. See, I just took that one. You can load that. That still works. Look at the CPU up here. This is very important to point out. I can still load a few more stuff. Um, I, when I tested it earlier, it stops you if you, if you exceed the CPU limit. It will automatically stop you from actually adding the block. It'll just like blink out and it won't work. But I literally have a one of every block. And in some of them, for example, like the drive, you can put up to four in here. I'll just add another drive. See, it kicked up the CPU a little bit. And it shows you when you redlining right there, working a little hard. But this is a lot of blocks. And you, and you have a lot of scenes. You can throw everything on here. You have so many options in the Axe FX3, it's crazy. I love how you have different channels and you can do so much different stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap up my overview of Axe Edit 3 Beta. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna do some follow-up videos as we gain more control of it. As I said, this is in beta and it's working pretty good so far. It's been pretty stable. 
um, from what I can tell. So that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm going to have to be out. Peace.